Hi there, YouTube. We're playing some my GM mode in WWE 2K23 because I love me some wrestling. Um, so I'm gonna skip that. Got to get rid of all the anything that has to do with music. Okay, so we're gonna do a slow explain this time. Okay, we're gonna do a slow explain. Okay, we're gonna choose a safe slot. Xavier, we're not gonna say hi to Xavier right now. He's gonna do a whole talk. GM mode. What is GM mode? What we're doing here is we're running a show and we're competing with other shows. We can actually have up to four or up to three other shows. Um, it's mostly a, a, a management type game where you have different um, characters, wrestlers, that you're putting into a show where it's like, oh, here's your main event, here's your mid cards, here's your opener. And so you're building a show you're also having them do the promos where they're like calling each other out or making themselves all big. You do all that kind of stuff and set up a show and then you run that show and it gets graded amongst other shows. And so you're competing to try and gain the most fans by the end of the um, uh, of the season. Basically wrestling tycoon slash choreographer. Yes, Teo, pretty much. And so, you know, along that path, you have to like keep your wrestlers happy. You have to try and keep everything mixed up enough so the fans don't get bored. Um, you're gonna have a lot of like butting heads that you have to deal with. Is there a money component? Oh yeah, you gotta balance your budget. Um, so it's all about like working all those things together. And then you have this added component of these other shows where every now and then they can mess with your show. So you can be like, oh, I'm about to go and do the big pay-per-view. And then what happens? Oh, one of the um, characters throws a card at me and it says like, oh, you can't use your champion this week. Or, oh, uh, all of your matches are going to cost twice as much or something like that. Right. And so you have that extra component of like kind of randomness. That's a little scary. Um, so. Let's get started. The first place to start is who do we want to pick as our GM? Who, what's the character that we're gonna play as? Um, the main purpose behind here, other than the characters themselves, because you're gonna have an emotional, if you watch wrestling, you're gonna have an emotional connection to some of these characters. Um, but it's mostly about that thing below the name, which let me, Adam Pierce's card, he would in, uh, increase the levels of all the active rivalries, get them up a little bit higher. Going into a pay-per-view with higher rivalries, you're going to get more out of it. So it's kind of like a nice um, buffer where you're like, oh, my rivalries aren't doing great. Let's boost them. Um, a good thing to hang on to. A great card. Adam Pierce is one of the better ones to choose if you're trying to min-max. We got Sonya Deville. Um, she can have free power cards this week. Power cards can be expensive. I'd say that like on the upper end, you could end up paying like $300,000, which is a significant amount uh, in this game, um, on just cards if they're really good ones. So being able to have a bunch of free ones, it's a nice chunk of change. Um, so uh, Stephanie McMahon, yeah, you can have like a nice little boost of cash. Um, Xavier Woods, you can actually steal a wrestler from someone else's show. This may be the most powerful card in the game because not only do you get a powerful wrestler, but you can ruin someone's show by taking away their star. Um, Tyler Breeze gets an instant 20 stamina recovery. This might be the most, the best one to me. Stamina is, you know, basically like the HP. Once you get below a certain level, your wrestlers can get injured. If they're injured, they can't wrestle for a while until they're healed. Um, so you want to make sure you're balancing stamina so no one's going to get injured. Um, so being able to like be like, oh no, everybody's low stamina, but I need to put on a show. Boom, boost it by 20. You love that Xavier and Tyler are options. I know, right? So good. Um, so then, uh, Kurt Angle, uh, you can do all uh, the charity promos for the week um, are doubled and also free. Charity promos cost money, but give you fans. So if you're trying to boost your fans, that would be the way to do it is with Kurt Angle. And then Eric Bischoff, um, booking costs for all show logistics are free this week. That's like what arena you're going to be in. What are your special effects? What's your lighting? What's your uh, crew, your tech crew, all that kind of stuff. Um, Oh, and then lastly, Mick Foley. It's like an opposing brand um, and two people on their show will be injured. Yikes, also very dangerous. Lastly, you can make a custom one and they get a free legend um, signing. That's basically like, you know, you're gonna get The Rock, you're gonna get Hulk Hogan, you're gonna get, you know, one of those big stars. Um, you could call them in um, and they always have temporary, like short contracts and they're always very expensive, um, so. That can be very helpful early on. Bischoff got the Ted Turner money. Exactly, Bram. Exactly. <laughs> Mick would never. I know, right? Okay, so for me, I think we're going to go with T-Breezy. 
I like the stamina boost. I think he's a solid choice. Um, we'll pick which show we're on. Same deal. You get one card for your show. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Um, and then it's like the visual style. SmackDown probably has the best one. You just boost the popularity of a bunch of people on your roster. I straight up believe that SmackDown is the most overpowered of the combo. Adam Pierce, SmackDown, GG. Um, so SmackDown's a solid one. Raw, you, you injure or not injure, but take people off of the roster for uh, an episode. NXT, you get a big boost to championship matches um, during a certain week. There are five championships that you can have um, at any time. There's two tag championships, there's two world championships, and there's one mid cards title. Um, and so, so that can be really good. That can give you a really powerful one, um, uh, show uh, NXT 2.0 um, you basically can get some um, characters on the cheap um, WCW um, you get to boost the length of those legends contracts again Bischoff with the Ted Turner money being like hey I want to keep you legends around Kevin Nash come on in um, uh, and that's that so I'm going aesthetics half of this but also I think fighting champions probably the second best card Maybe the third with the Legend Whisperer one. You can get so much out of that if you have a lot of Legends. The the Bischoff one. Um, but I like NXT and I like I like doing the NXT show. So we're going to go up against... Um, I'm going to do three opponents. So there's going to be four shows. Um, it's fine. We'll get Fake Diesel. No one wants Kane. See, like, see that's Fake Diesel is Kane. See? Isaac Yankum, DDS. Same guy. Um... So, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on easy AI. And the reason for that is that with more shows, there's going to be more cards. And if I put them on normal with all of them, they're going to target me. I'm going to be in trouble. So um, we're going to go with um, all of them. I'm still going to get in some trouble here and there. Um, we're going to go with, I think I want to say Mick Foley over at Raw. Um, and then if we've got NXT, we can either go, we're going to go WCW or NXT 2.0. Um, let's, let's go with uh, WCW. So then of course we got to go Bischoff, you know? Yeah, here we go. I'm feeling good about this. Have I played 2K22? I have. Um, I've only posted a tiny bit of it to my YouTube, um, but... I'm doing this closer to release on this game, so I think I uh, I may post a little more content on this than I normally do. Uh, okay, confirming brands. I'm feeling good. We're tight. We're we're tea breezy at the NXT. All right. So here, this is new. The the choices you can make here. There's a lot more. Um, like I said, I'm going on easy difficulty just because I don't want them teaming up on me and ruining my show. Ultimately, I don't really care about the fans and the the um the competition part of it as much as i care about building up my wrestlers and having that like uh super powered roster like i just want to make them all so good um so that's the other part it's like i don't really care about the fan part but i just don't want them ruining my shows um we'll do snake order for the draft which just means like you know whoever starts first it's then going to go forward and then it's going to come back um price doesn't care about the fans a true heel true is heel uh, shakeups are on. This means like partway through the game every like 10, five or 10. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe 15, uh, weeks. There's a thing that'll pop up like a card that'll be like, oh, now all your superstars gain popularity when they're in a ladder match or something like that. Right. So just some kind of boost, um, that changes the nature of the game a little bit. Um, default draft pool. I don't have any custom ones after each pay-per-view says Bram. Okay. So it's actually more often than I thought. Jeez Louise. Um, and then auto draft. We're not going to turn on. That just means that I wouldn't be able to draft my own team. Uh, okay. We're good. Let's go into the draft. Hopefully I've explained all that to y'all well enough. I'm trying to slow down from last time. Last time I did it all in like a minute. Um, time has come. It's the WWE draft. there we go. Um, we start with a budget uh 3.2 million okay uh thank you abh total <laughs> may you have views in the millions <laughs> let's do a wrestle brian um so we take turns 
Um, you go up to at least the ninth round after that. It's optional. We will go up uh, probably to like around 12. And then I like to bring in enhancement talent, jobbers, people who have like the lowest low stats. I like to bring them in and then boost them way, way, way up. It takes a little bit of time, but you can get a lot out of that. And I feel like once they're built up, sometimes they're even better than the main uh, wrestlers. Um, okay. Who will be the first pick of the black and gold brand? Okay, so here's the deal. I'm only gonna get to pick one before the rest of them get to pick another seven. So whoever we pick here is gonna be really important. I think that's how the snake works. I'm not exactly sure when they get back to me, but I think that's how it works. So um, I wanna make sure this is a big pick, someone I can really rely on um, for a good chunk of time. Let me go through these stats here so you can know what I'm talking about. Uh, so we've got men's and women's wrestlers, okay? We're gonna want a men's division. We're gonna want a women's division. It's usually good to get about equal amounts, men and women. So you're gonna want essentially six men, six women to start with. That's how you're gonna build out your roster. Um, and then, you know, from there, um, uh, you move on. So um, what are we gonna, what are we gonna pick? Well, what's important, number one, cost, okay? I wanna make sure coming out of this draft, I have enough money to book all of my shows. You can very easily run all of your money into the ground on the draft, but then for your first 10 weeks, you're gonna barely be able to do anything on your shows. And so you're gonna kind of put yourself behind. So there's a balance. There's a balance you wanna achieve. You don't need all the most expensive um, wrestlers. So here you can see Zoe Stark. Well, let's actually go for cost, all right? I've moved over to the, the next thing there. I hit triangle, that moves me over. So you can see cost-wise, Joaquin Wild is the cheapest wrestler available, okay? But there's a good reason for that. If you go over this way, right? It says stamina and popularity. Those are the two stats that really matter. Um, all in on Grayson Waller. There we go, Brian. <laughs> I've only watched one of his matches. He's pretty rad, though. Um, so, stamina. I told you all about this earlier. When you do matches, stamina is going to go down. Once they reach 40, anything below 40 is injury territory. The lower you go, the more likely an injury is. So you kind of want to hover them around 40 or let them build up and then put them in a bunch of big matches. So it's good to have them start at a stamina level above 70, I would say. If you can get some wrestlers like that, you're going to have a good couple of first weeks. And then popularity. The higher the popularity, um, the, the better the matches. Um, and then I actually forgot, if you look next to the name, so you see where it says Joaquin Wild, there's a star. And that star has like one little tick in it. That's their star power. The higher their star power, the more people they're bringing in just by being on the show. Um, so, for example, if I go all the way down here, we can see that Becky has three stars. Roman Reigns has four stars or four chunks of a star. All in on Mansoor. There we go. Is this Guitar Hero? Basically. Um, so, um, that's another thing to consider. Now, I know who I want to build my roster around. He's one of my faves. And that's the demon, Finn Balor. But if you look at it stat-wise, he's expensive. He's also one of the best stars in the game um, who's consistently up for draft. Um, he's got a good, solid popularity at 62. That's really high. That's really high to start with. Um, as you can see, Roman is only three above. Um, and then stamina, 78, right? So we're at a good spot for Finn to be able to do a lot early on. So we're gonna get Finn, and then we pray, and we know that it's not gonna happen, but we pray that we can get Asuka, or Alexa, or Bianca, <laughs> or, I don't want Charlotte to be honest, but she's good, or Rhea Ripley, okay? or Shayna Baszler, all right? Those like six women would be, any of them would be great at the top of our women's division. Um, most of them are gonna get picked up. Like I fully expect Asuka to be a first round pick. I expect um, Becky's gonna be a first round pick. I expect Bianca to be a first round pick. I expect Rhea to be a first round pick. I might get away with Shayna. I might. Do they pay you to take Dominic? Nah, dude. 
Tyler Bate is actually overpowered in this. He's super cheap, and he actually grows really fast. Um, okay, so Finn. We're going with Finn. Finn Baller. And now we watch them choose a lot of stuff. What did I say? Becky? What did I say? Asuka? <laughs> what did I say, Alexa? Look, was I not right? Was I not right? And there goes Shayna. Rhea's our only last one. Oh, man. Does wrestling have an actual draft? They have. They have. But, like, not really. Okay, so... <laughs> Did I not call it? Did I not call three of those four? Um, yeah, the draft is very mild. Okay, we're going with Bianca then. Bianca, solid starter. Unless, what is Rhea's stamina? Rhea's at 78, and Bianca's only at 54. Like, oh man. Okay, here's something to think about. So, okay, so classes. I haven't talked about classes. They haven't been important yet. Now that we're getting our second person, classes are important. So, um, if you go over here, to this third row, or third column, fourth column, if you count the names, um, there's a class. There are five classes, uh, and essentially the way they work is um, there are duos that uh, boost each other, and then specialists are in between. So specialists are the fight anybody, so they can have a good fight with anyone, but they won't have the greatest fights. Um, and that's simply because of those differences. However, specialists tend to also be higher up in the rankings I've noticed in terms of popularity and stuff. So it does often shake out. They're, they're better in this game than they were in the last one. Um, so moving forward from specialists, uh, we have fighters and bruisers, okay? Um, so fighters and bruisers are one of those um, two combos. Um, so you're always going to want to put a fighter up against a bruiser if you can, because they're going to get a bonus for being against one another. You can have anyone fight anyone, but if you take advantage of those boosts, you're going to get a lot more out of it. Um, so there's fighter bruiser. And then the most powerful duo, the most powerful combo bonus that you get is Cruiser Giant. Now, there are very few giants in the game, so that's often something you have to like look for early on if you're gonna get one. Um, uh, and there's a ton of cruisers. So you'll wanna build around those things. I would always suggest once you're at that point where you're picking, go with your giants before your cruisers for sure. And you might want to do your giants before your bruisers and fighters as well. Um, yeah, Papa H, Triple H does get mad at you if you don't do the right combos. Okay, so looking at giants, because I could get somebody, I'm looking at the wrong roster, hold on. Where's mine? NXT. So we've got Finn. Oh, I haven't even picked my second one yet. Okay, um, so we will get our, our, um, our main uh, woman in probably Bianca. Maybe Rhea. That's right. This is what I was doing. They're both bruisers. So let's look at a plan for the next round of who the fighters could be that are my options. Okay. Like how many heels versus how many faces. All right. We got three and two. Okay. Which would mean getting a face bruiser. So the, the heel and face, that's like the good and the bad, right? Where it says roll. So you always want to put up a bad versus a good, right? Um, <clears throat> So, um, so yeah, three and two. So I might lean towards Bianca because I might be more likely to get one of these three, Aaliyah, Dakota, or Carmella, than Zaya or Cora. Make sense? So we're going to go with Bianca. Bianca's going to be the center of our women's division. I fully expect Rhea Ripley to be taken. Oh, I get another one. That's right. It's snakes. It's snakes. Uh... No, we do not use bio, whatever your name is. We do not do, we have nothing to do with those. Um, okay, so then that changes things. Uh, I should have thought about that. Carmella's good though. Carmella's a solid choice. So we'll go with Carmella versus Bianca. Or do I want to go with a bruiser to go up against Finn? Because Bianca's going to be low stamina to start with. 
Uh, okay, let's look for a bruiser to go up against Finn real quick. I spend a lot of time in the draft, so when I post this to YouTube, this will be its own episode. <laughs> because I do like to really get into this and pick the best ones. Um, okay, so, face bruisers, who we got? Oh, LA Knight, yeah! Yeah! Gotta do it. Thank you, Nivy. It is our anniversary. It is Chrissy and mine's anniversary today. Four years, y'all. LA night, yeah, dummy, yeah. Gotta, you gotta. Okay. So I can get my pick of uh, women. So let's go with... Um, wait, did they take... Did they take Carmella? Or am I just not looking? There she is. Okay, cool. We're taking Carmella. I'm looking at my budget. I've spent some good money so far. So I may want to go into like lesser territory right now. We have two women giants. So it could be good for me to pick one of them up. What about men giant? We have plenty of men who are giants. So we got space on that. Um, okay, so we're going to go then with, we'll grab Raquel. Raquel is a solid choice. And um, I prefer Raquel to Tamina, I'll just be honest. And on the cheaper end, so pretty good. Um, boop, 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 boop. Okay. What's going on here? It's another big pick for Monday Night Raw. The SmackDown GM is preparing their next pick. The NXT GM waiting okay. their options here. Um, sorry, I didn't even look at who they picked. T-Bar. Did they just pick Seth or Shinsuke? Wesley. Okay. Um, all right, we grabbed Raquel. So let's grab ourselves a cruiser, and then maybe we'll grab a man who is a giant. Okay, Raquel is a face. So let's get ourselves a cruiser who is a heel. Okay, who we got? We got Queen Zelina, love Zelina, or we've got EO. EO's great, expensive, but great. Zelina's got more energy though, but Raquel does not. So we're not gonna be able to put him in a lot of matches anyway. So we'll go with EO. Zelina's good, Zelina's great. A man giant. Uh, yes, a man giant. So I wanna get Mase. Yeah, going with Mase. So then we need to get a cruiser man. And then we move into like either specialists or maybe like a specialist and a duo, you know, something. We'll do something. A man, baby. Okay. Okay. So we got Mase. Let's find ourselves a cruiser. Uh, and Mase is a heel. Oh boy, looks like we have very few choices. All right, we got Reggie, Dominic, and Carmelo. Y'all know we're going with Dominic. Hi, baby. How you doing? Ah, do you want to you want to say hi? Not really. They say happy anniversary. <laughs> How y'all doing out there? Look, look at that. They're all dropping the happy anniversaries. <laughs> Four years, y'all. Four years. My goodness. <laughs> sure. Okay, go do what you gonna do. I'm just not wearing a bra. <laughs> just cover yourself. I'm not trying to get you banned. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> now, Kith. Just doing our wrestling. Can you believe it? I'm getting them to watch wrestling. <laughs> I need a cruiserweight. How about Otis? I know, right? Um, yeah, we're going with Dominic. We're going with Dominic. How you doing? Dominic Mysterio. This guy might just soar over all the GM's picks so far. Sleepy? No. No. What you working on? <laughs> uh. Hey, anniversary biddies. Thanks, Betty. Appreciate you. Uh, nope, please don't. 
Stream is lagging for you, so it's hard to watch. Oh no! I'm so sorry, Nivy. Um. Okay, sorry. Let's uh pick. We're looking at specialists. Riddle's right there, bro. Tyler Bate, I'm telling you, is kind of OP. Because I could put him up against any any heal. Um, all right, we're gonna grab Tyler Bate. The big strong boy. So then I gotta think. Maybe I put him. He's a face. So then I want to get somebody oppositional that will fit well with another set, you know? So a face bruiser would be good. We already know face cruisers we can't really get anymore. Um, yeah, face bruiser or cruiser. So let's go with a bruiser. We get Angela Dawkins. We get Titus O'Neil. Oh! How did we miss Carmelo earlier? Did I just did I just fly right by Carmelo? But I need a heal actually to go up against Tyler, don't I? Well, whatever, grab Carmelo. I know, right? NXT selects Carmelo Hayes. The GM Ugh, this is putting me into a rough position here. Oh, we don't even have any more heal. Giants. I'm gonna have to do a role reversal. Um once we get in there. For somebody. Probably. I mean, part of me wants to do it with Dominic. But we'll probably turn Carmelo heel. Um and then he will who's got the lower one? He's lower popularity than Dominic. Absolutely disgraceful. Although Dominic's killing it right now. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Um, Heal Dom is best Dom, right? Heal Dom's actually good. Uh, okay, so I picked Carmelo, right? And I get one more pick. How many men do I have? Lower right, you can see those stats. I'm covering it up. I'll move myself back over now that... Um, now that we... Uh, are past that point where you're at. Okay. So you'll see down there, that's kind of like a summary of, did my bar just appear under there? That's really annoying. I didn't realize that's been down there the whole time, hasn't it? The taskbar. And I can move this down a little bit. Center frame. Okay. And I don't want to cut off anything on the side, so I think you're good. Oh no, y'all can see that. Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna bring this all in. I gotta I gotta the the PlayStation does this weird resolution thing when I plug it into my computer. Okay. Come on. There we go. All right. That should be good. Um, you can't believe Dom won last night's match. They're pushing him. It's the big push. You don't know anything about wrestling, but you're still going to watch. Maybe you'll learn some things. That's the thing. I mean, honestly, the this has so little to do with wrestling. Other than just like, you could put a different coat of paint over it. Uh, okay. We have, we have six men, so I want to move on to getting a few more women. Um, I could get Tamina, then we would have another giant. I want to go for another bruiser set, though. So we have Bianca. <laughs> Nikita is the only bruiser left. Wow. Well, we're going to grab Nikita, and then we're going to grab a heel fighter. So someone like Aaliyah. NXT picks, Nikita Lions. Nikita Lions. Oh, wow, Bram. I have not watched a full round of Raw, a full episode in probably years because I haven't had cable um, but I've kept up on all the clips on YouTube essentially and then I have a bunch of like wrestling podcasts you know that I listen to you weren't a fan until you started watching me aw I'm glad that I could have that influence um, 
Right, okay. I was looking at my heal face numbers and I'm like, those don't add up, but it's like, that's right. I need to switch one over. Um, okay, fighter. Oh, well, that choice is made for us too. NXT, <laughs> oh man. All right, that was round 12. We have six and six. This is kind of where I said I would be comfortable stopping, but we could get, oh, her tag partner's gone. I wanted to get Gigi and Jace, but she ain't here. Okay, or Jane, JC Jane, is that her name? So then, We're going to do the, the swap, six and six. All right, here's what we're going to do. We are going to look at who is the most popular remaining. We're at 1.2 million. I can afford to lose some. Jimmy, oos. But I'm sure Jay is gone already. Yeah. Damien Priest is a good call, too. Ludwig Kaiser. We're going to just, we're just going to, we're going to stick with it. We're going to go with that 12. And I can hire a bunch of local talent. Like I said, I want to build them up anyways. So here's the first eight of my draft. That's kind of how they always start this off. They show you your, like, first draft pick. So you kind of get a feel for your roster here. Okay, so we've got Bianca going up against Carmelo. Nice. That's a good top tier. We're going to make Bianca our champ. Um, we've got Finn versus LA Knight. That's going to be our main event. We've got Mase versus Dominic. That's going to be our mid cards title. And we got EO and uh, Raquel. They're going to be the secondary. They're going to be the mid card for the um, women's division. But I'll also put them into a tag team um, in order to get them to be the women's tag champs. And then we got to find our men's tag champs. Um, you can double over, but it also makes it difficult when it comes to stamina sometime. Um, you love that the screen for Xavier Woods GM covers the person to the right with his folder. Oh, that's right. It like covers their face. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Draft complete. Now they'll go and do the rest of theirs. Um, like I said, I, our budget is at a nice level. I'll be able to hire, I could hire a legend off the bat. I could um, do all kinds of stuff. It's difficult with feuds for double champs. It gets tricky, for sure. Just because, I think because of the stamina thing, because you're doing double duty. And then I guess also when the, um, come on Cole. Uh, when when you have like two level four rivalries, is that what you're talking about, Bram? Where it gets difficult, you're like, which one do I want to blow off? Because then you got to keep the next one for so long or submission match it. All right, what do they got? Okay, Alexa and Dewdrop are both faces. So they're going to have to do a role change on one of them. You've got, I think it's going to be KO and Logan Paul. Wesley and um, Gunther, so then MVP and Ezekiel, or not Ezekiel, Elias. Gunther and KO, few. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. I can take anyone on anytime. Yeah. Love Gunther. I've seen him live. I saw him back when he was Walter. That is a big person, and man, oh man, that chop that he does is so loud, so loud. All right, they got Becky and Charlotte and Bailey. That's some top tier stuff right there. Um, three of the four horsewomen, Sasha Banks no longer in the company, and there you see Xavier Woods covering up Becky's face. Rude. They got Roman versus R-Truth. That's also gonna be a really good one. R-Truth is like, he's solid in this game. So many options to choose from here. The AIs are starting with a low budget. Yep. Yep. Asuka versus Baszler. Top tier. Top tier. Cody versus Edge. Solid. They have a lot of specialists. That might work in my favor. That might work in my favor. Baron Corbin or Happy Corbin versus Shinsuke. That'll be a thing. And now the brand showing side by side. 
This is going to be a good season, guys. Look at all that. Okay, so I'm just going to go slowly down here. I'm not going to read it all out, but this is just for like the purpose of like people on YouTube or whatever. Um, these are organized by popularity, just so you can see your highest popularity characters and whatnot. Um, I'm just looking as far as three stars go. They've all got one more three star than I do, but that's fine. Oh, except for SmackDown. SmackDown has a lot. Wow, SmackDown spent a lot of money. They got a lot of stars. Okay. Okay, so there's our rosters. As you can see, we have the least, but we're going to pick up some enhancement talent, and we're going to have a ton of money. You believe Gunther now has the fourth longest IC title reign? He's, he's creeping up on the Honky Tonk Man, which was... I mean, people thought it would never be broken, right? So isn't he going to become the longest? I'm actually curious about that. I'm actually very curious about that. I thought he was actually on track to be the longest one. Let's see. Longest IC title reign. Z. Honky Talk Man holds the longest reign at 454 days. It must, it's within inches. Okay. It's within inches, basically. Because it's like, hold on. Oh my gosh, all these articles are like, hey, I want you to have to wait a bunch. Um, Gunther will defend his title at WrestleMania. Let's see. Where does it say what Gunther's is? All right. Well, one of y'all can figure it out and let me know. Um, but either way, he, everybody thinks that he's going to um, uh, pass it. Oh, Bram, that Walter versus PCO match. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. Um, okay, so there's some new stuff in the game this time around. Um, there's this Hall of Fame thing. So you're trying to get trophies, um, just basically accomplishing certain achievements. Um, and so there's totally you want to make 10. You can get them in a whole bunch of ways. The other way that this game changes is instead of going for like, you could pick like, I think it was like 15 days, 25 days, or uh, or uh, 50 days, or weeks, rather. Um, and that's how long the game would go, and then it ended. This one does seasons. So once you finish your 25 days, things change up a little bit. You do another draft with like half, like you keep some, and then you do a draft. And then um, you move into another season. So it shakes things up a little bit. Um, okay, here we go. Triple H. Tyler, good, good to talk to you. Just checking in to make sure NXT is ready for the new season. You feeling confident? Uh, I was born for this. Good. I'm expecting big things of NXT this season. Make an amazing show. Um, all right, I'm not going to do the voices for everybody. Uh, Tyler, how's it going? Just wanted to wish you luck for the coming season. We're looking forward to it over at WCW. He'd be saying that so snarky. He'd be saying it's so snarky. Obviously, with the likes of Alexa Bliss on our books, we think we're going to give NXT more than a run for its money. I guess we're going to find out. All right, so, uh, Brian J says he, surpassed, he surpasses Greg Valentine tomorrow to break into the top five. Then he has to hold for another hundred days to surpass number four, Don Morocco. I thought he's held it for way longer. I thought he'd already held it for a year. Or maybe he has, but it's like all those top ones are really close. Um, okay. We're picking our first champions. This is how you start off. You pick your first main champs. So um, I think we're going to start with Fan Baller. Just make him super popular. When you give someone a belt, it boosts them by 10. Ah, yes, what WCW was known for. Women's wrestling. I know, right? Oof. The olden days. Uh, okay, and then we're going to put Bianca as our champ. We're, we're putting our top two at the very top. This will just help us really build up those feuds real fast. Um, okay. Do not book my most popular specialist this week. Well, that's rude. What would I get for that? Free crew booking. Hmm. Okay. Let me run through this stuff. Um, I'll move myself over again. Okay. So we're going to have these missions. 
Um, right now, we don't have any, but uh, wrestlers are going to ask us stuff like, hey, I've been putting in a lot of work. I deserve a title shot, or I want to be in the main event, or I keep losing all the time. I want to win. Um, they'll have questions. They'll have desires. And so if you carry those out, your people will be happy. If you don't, they will be sad. And if they're mad enough, they will leave. Um, and then the commissioner goal, every week you're going to have a goal like that. Um, you don't have to do it, but if you do it, you get this reward. Right, so here it says we'll get any crucial logistic book this week will be free. It's a card. We can use it any week we want to. Um, but uh, that's not that important for me right now, so I'm not going to worry too much. If I want to book Tyler, I'll book Tyler. I think he's my most popular specialist. I don't know. Um, okay, here's where we book our show. Um, we'll do that in a second. First, though, our show logistics. This is the quality of the show, the arena, the crew, the special effects, and the advertising. All of these boost your show quality and give you some other kind of uh, things. Um, right now, we don't have any choices. It's all the lowest level. Um, and so makes it easy for the first week. And then we have these three options in manage roster. This is our roster as it exists. These are free agents that we can pick from. And so down here, you'll look and see that this is my enhancement talent zone. You'll notice that they're a lot more affordable, but their stats are way, way lower. So good to keep in mind. Now I'm looking at this right here and I'm seeing something nice, which is we have a permanent women's giant. So that would allow us to open up some space for another heel cruiser on the women's roster and they'd be good for um tag teaming Ooh, ronda is available permanent cena permanent cena chat vote do we get cena all right I want chat to vote. Y'all decide that. We're going to move forward for now. So those would be free agents that we could sign right now. That's how we boost our roster. So like I said before, I went kind of lean on the draft. And then that gives me the option to like have more choices here. Um, and then we've got legends. So these are obviously the biggest of the big. Um, you will probably recognize some of them. We got the Ultimate Warrior. We got Goldberg. We got the Undertaker. We got Batista. You know. Uh, we got the whole gang. Um, so this is where you can pay for them. You can never get a permanent um, legend. Um, and so, so they're always on contract. So like Ultimate Warrior, for example, if I keep him all season, he's going to cost me more than Cena would, um, for example. Uh, okay, so the thing you'll notice about them their star level is maxed and it will always be maxed because they're a legend. So they can really help you boost certain things. Bad Bunny is a legend. Yeah, I know, right? So Bad Bunny is considered a legend, I think because he's in the celebrity wing, you know? Um, and then, because technically Logan Paul is a real wrestler. He's not in the celebrity ring. He is technically signed to WWE. Um, so part of it is <laughs> it's probably like a licensing thing. Um, beyond that, um, Tyler Breeze is in here as a legend as well. I don't think I can get him, though, because I'm Tyler Breeze. But if he shows up, we're getting him 100%. Because um, he's a legend, because he also no longer wrestles. Um, but he does the GMing. So, okay. Power cards. Um, oh, can we get a vote going for the Cena thing? Is anyone, could anyone do that for me? Um, I'm not dropping frames or anything, am I? No, we're good. Uh, Bram, I'm surprised Nash's price doesn't give me 10k more than whoever's at the top. I know, right? Uh, okay, here's our cards. We could use them here. I already told y'all we have the quick recovery card, which is the immediately recovered 20 stamina. Fighting champion, which would make all championship matches on a card or on a show. Um, Cena thing? Oh, sorry, Benny. Uh, just a vote. Should we get John Cena or not? Because um, we could permanently get Cena now. I could easily afford it. Um, but, you know, he's super Cena. Uh, okay, so what could we get? Double cost. That would make someone else's match cost, or not, uh, their special matches cost double uh, the following week. So it could be tough. 
Health Spa is great. I always buy every Health Spa card. Oh, hey, it's 2 o'clock. Um, I always buy every Health Spa card. Um, that's how you can recover stamina, like, for the next week. Um, fixed match card is always nice. Um, and I just got a to the moon card. Why did I get that? Ah, because we have so much money in the bank. Uh, surpassed 300k in the bank, surpassed 400k in the bank. Those are some trophy progresses. Um, once we get five of them, I think we get a trophy, like an actual trophy. Uh, okay, cool. The to the moon card is incredible. So I will uh, thank you for making the meme. Indeed. Uh, so uh, the to the moon card um, will boost a star plus 15 popularity after their next match. It is a great way to take someone from the bottom to the top. Like uh, we could take Aaliyah from 44 up to 60. So that would put her third place. So we're going to do that. We're going to use the to the moon card on Aaliyah. We're going to put her up against Bianca for the title next week. They will be very close in popularity and that's going to be a top tier um rivalry so let's book our show if we get cena we'll put him in a promo anyways he's not starting to fight this week okay so we're going to start with our most popular wrestler it's a good way to start things off finn baller um and he's going to go up against l a knight yeah um title match so right now i'm just going to lay out basic matches and then we'll add some stipulations to them later. Uh, okay, second one. We're going out with a bang. We're starting this off. Um, we got Bianca. Come on. And we're going to put her up against Aaliyah. Yep. And then we're going to put that for the title. And save that one. And then we're going to go use that power card. And we're going to put it on Aaliyah. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Let me talk to you. I, it's so good. It's so good. For those of y'all who don't know, LA Knight is kind of a newer up on the rise wrestler in WWE. He's been around for forever in other wrestling um, organizations. He's probably the closest thing to that level of like stone cold, uh, like charisma. And he's got the the catchy thing. And so his catchy thing is you know, like, here, I'll, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. Okay. How far back can I go? Okay, you're gonna have to, gonna have to like just look over here. All right. Uh, so he'll like he'll like walk back and forth, but he'll be like sitting over here, right? Just like standing, okay. And he'll have the microphone to his mouth, and he'll be like kind of sitting and staring. He'll go like, yeah, and then walk over here, you know. And then he'll stop for a second, and then yeah, and then walk over here. And it's like gets it's like so infectious. And then he says. Let me talk to you. And so it's like that little thing, the yeah, and everybody in the audience like saying it along with him is just like when Stone Cold was around and it was the what? And they still do it today, but it's the what? 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 Because that's what he would do, right? He would just like taunt people. What? They're saying anything? What? You need that. You need that catchiness. So anyway, back to the game. LA Knight has always been great. Yeah, fantastic. Even when he was Max L. Dupree. Um, okay, so we used the card. If you ever want to check which cards you have used, if you forgot, like ADHD boy over here, hit triangle and you can scroll over to power cards and it shows you all the power cards you have played this week. You can also look at where the rankings are. There's literally no info on this yet. Uh, and yeah, no other things have happened so far. Okay. Let us get our, let's get some tag team stuff going on. We're going to set as many of our championships as we can right now. So who's going to be our tags? We're going to throw y'all two in there. So then we'll throw y'all two in there. Boom. So wait, 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 wrong order. Wrong order. Boop. Boop. Got to do faces on one side. Heels on the other. Okay. So Carmella and Io Sky versus Nikita Lyons and Raquel Rodriguez for our tag champs. This will be our tag division for a while. And then as they build up, maybe we'll kind of 
move them into the mid card or main event. All right, and then finally, we're gonna put Masse and Dominic up for the men's title, which is the mid card title. Uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, on NXT, it's the North American Championship. That's what it is. Um, okay, now who else do we have? We have two other people, but y'all did vote. Y'all did vote. And we will be signing free agent, Jonathan Thena. Let's go. Confirmed. He's not very happy though, it looked like. Um, so who's gonna go up against Super Cena? We've got Carmelo as well. He's a face, so if there's a heel giant, Uh, cash suplex we could bring in, which could be fun. Wait, just what a name, cash suplex. Uh, okay. Well, this week, we're just going to have Cena say a hello. Um, yeah, his morality is low, so I need to make him happy and fast. Um, all right, look, look. If we want Cena to be happy, this is how you make John Cena happy. Um, so then, we're gonna do an LA Knight promo. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a role change on Tyler, which is what we had said we were gonna do, and we're gonna also do a self promo on Carmelo Hayes. So, self promos, they're gonna try and boost. Um, their uh, popularity, essentially. Oh gosh, he's not happy either. They're both not happy. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I need to get him something fast. All right, never mind. Never mind. Since they're both unhappy, we want to build the stars of tomorrow. We are going to put Cena on self promo to start, and then we'll find him someone for next week. Um, hopefully the rumor of LA Knight versus Stone Cold at WrestleMania is real. I, wouldn't that be great? It'd be great. If it's just promos, you'd still tell them to be okay. Oh, absolutely. They'd be wonderful. Okay. We're feeling good for our first show. Um, we're just going to go ahead and run it. Oh, oh, last thing. You can book specialty matches, right? I've been doing just one-on-ones just to lay out the show. But like, if you want to add some spice to it, you can do all these different types of matches and they add different um, types of effects you can see behind my head. Um, my brand is all TLC all the time. I know, right? Uh, let me look at stamina's. So we got 74 and 54. 54 is not that great for it. We got 75, 66, 55, 88. Okay, again, 89, 51. Not great. 78, 82. We're doing something. Let's do as suggested by Brian, a tables, ladders, and chairs match. And for this one, we will do a tables match. For those who don't know, a tables match is one where the match ends when someone gets thrown to a, through a table. Um, okay, cool. Now I think we're good. Oh, the last thing, I guess, you can do interference. So you can turn that on. <clears throat> you can have one wrestler run in on another wrestler. That would allow you to... Um, try and build their rivalry. You could also have you as the GM be in someone's corner and help them out. Either way, it makes someone really happy and it makes someone really angry. Okay, let's go. First show, it's costing us 50 grand. We got 950K in the bank. We spent 250K on a Super Cena. Let's go. All right, Bianca wins, retains title, does not start a rivalry. Sad. All right, John Cena, popularity going up because he got that five promo skill. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see. Uh, all right, let's see what we got for our tag match. Okay. Oh, let me move my head again. Uh, oh, you saw it for a second. It said rivalry, right? So they have started a rivalry level one against each other. Tyler Bates a bad boy now. We could put him up against Cena if we wanted to. Uh, there's a curve you want. Yes, there is a curve. 
the curve will be weak this week. Okay, so title match, Masse versus Dominic Mysterio. This is for the men's title. I think Dominic wins. I was wrong. Okay. All right, we got another rivalry started. Two and a half stars, totally fine. I'm okay with low scores early on. More what you want is just the curve and you want to build those rivalries because the pay-per-view, that's when you build stars. Or premium live event, as WWE likes to say. Okay, popularity went up zero. However, it's better than having him not on the show because then his popularity would have gone down. So zero is actually good in a way, um, but you can do better than that as you saw Cena gain five. <clears throat> All right, and then lastly, <clears throat> excuse me, Fen Baller versus L A Knight. Yeah. All right, let's simulate that. This will be good. Yeah, but no rivalry. Okay, well then. Perhaps we do bring Cena into the title picture and then we throw LA Knight into a thing with Tyler Bates. Let's put them in our tag division. So I need to find two men to wrestle with them. Yeah, that'll be our tag division. That was a good starter. That was a good starter. And that was for the Intercontinental title, it looks like. So they haven't even done their main titles. All right, so far, they're doing pretty good. One. Becky versus Charlotte. Okay, mediocre. That's what I like to see. They're both specialists. The Unbrownable Strowman, not too bad. Oh, they're, oh, it's not for the title. They did a match, but not for the title. They're just building that rivalry. I put the title on the line almost every time I can. Uh, okay. The Maze. Live in Tamina. Okay. Their curve, I think, wasn't so great because I think they did a high match in the middle. I can't remember. Roman versus Dexter is interesting. Yeah. Dexter's a low-cost fighter. <laughs> Uh, all right. Ooh, Edge and Seth for the title. That's a solid one. That seems like a Mania match that could be forced through. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna... <sighs> Trying to make sure I look into frame, but I keep moving my camera. Ah, okay. Okay. I told you, Asuka and Shayna, that's a top-tier rivalry. Cody and Corbin. This will be in there. Yeah. Cody's great, but, you know. It's about Corbin A. Woo! And I'll be honest, all right? Let me be honest. Baron Corbin, actually not that terrible. I used to really not like him. He fits a very important role in wrestling. Um, okay. Dakota. Dakota Kai. Okay. Wesley. I saw, I, uh, I've seen that guy in person too. Incredible wrestler. One, two, <laughs> Can we just uh, take a minute to appreciate that? Just, we're gonna leave it on this, uh, <laughs> this page for a second, just to appreciate what we're seeing. <laughs> uh, oh, Logan. Disappointing. <laughs> uh, trying to get that as the stream thumbnail. <laughs> oh, man. No, I wasn't trying to, but if it is, that'd be hilarious. I just love that it's uh, disappointing. <laughs> it may be. We may sneak that in there. Because that's some clickbait if I ever seen it. Make my. Oh, here, I'll do the face for the thumbnail right now. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. To like the full face cam this one and i'll go or like or like or all right i think that's good <laughs> uh, okay back to a game all right Lots of good options, right? Yeah, they're, they're in there somewhere. 
Okay, continue. Oh, who won that? Was it KO? They have the old school belt. Oh, WCW. KO one, nice. Figured it much. Okay. Yeah, their show was kind of up and down, I think. We'll see here. Here's the curves. Here's the curves. Okay, so we have a good curve, all right? Good booking uh, is what it says. Raw kind of goes over like that. So they actually had poor booking. Um, so that'll kind of reduce their score. Even though they have higher matches, like a higher match. Yeah, they still will get scored down because of that poor arc. You want your best matches, book ending, and then your lesser matches in the middle. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we have a good curve. SmackDown had a good curve. WCW had a terrible curve. Um, so yeah, the other thing you can do, I don't do this every time. But the other thing you can do is you can like review everything that happened. So if I hit triangle, I can see everything about that match. Okay, Bianca gained morale. Aaliyah lost morale. They both went up in positivity. That's why it's green. And they both went down in stamina, obviously. And then it tells you like the whole breakdown. Like I love this of each little thing that contributes to it. Um, popularity, obviously. How popular are they? They do better. Role difference. Okay, as you can, or class matchups, they have four, right? So four stars just from having the bruiser fighter thing. And then I think giant cruiser is five. Um, uh, 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 the role is if you have face versus heel, obviously very important. Five stars just for that. They don't have a rivalry yet. They're not in a tag match, so it doesn't matter. Their talents have to do with the special types of matches that you put them in, so they can be good at tables matches or good at TLC matches or something. Um, and then hometown. People can be in their hometown. They can be like, hey, we're back in Chicago. Can't wait to wrestle in front of my, fa uh, my family. If you put them in a match, they're going to get that boost because they're hometown heroes. Okay, so... Three star one. Let's look at let's let's see how these two do. Nice. Nice. The only thing that was low was performance, which would go up with popularity, I believe. Okay, cool. So we get our breakdown of what happened. Um, the main things obviously are the totals at the bottom, the green numbers. We gained fans and we made money overall. Um, if like spending money on cards and all that kind of stuff, it gets factored in. So if I spent a ton of money on cards or like I spent money on Cena, you know, um, well, no, no, Cena didn't get factored in, but cards would. So your profit loss, um, can come into that. I think now that I'm, now that I'm saying that, I don't think that's the case. And that's the problem because you don't actually know how much money you're spending. Yeah, no match types, match types affect it. All right. And then this right below me. This can tell you some good things um, about what people are noticing. So, for example, Nikita and Raquel Rodriguez worked okay as a tag team, I guess. So their tag um, chemistry might not be that good. Um, what else? Mediocre promo from Carmelo. That happens sometimes. Um, Tyler Bates, bad guy now. Varied show out of quality. Um, yeah, so overall, people are happy. Good to know that Nikita and um, Ra uh, Raquel might not be good together. So if they don't already have a rivalry, then we might want to change that. Um, change up our wrestlers. Okay. SmackDown gained just under us on fans. Raw gained 10K less than us. Nice. Oh, wow. And WCW, it's way down there. Wow. It's those bad curves. It was those bad curves, right? Raw, even though it had the high match, it had that over curve, right? Which was bad. And then WCW had the that wave. So that's what it was. It's the curve. They did bad curves. Because otherwise, all the matches were good across all the shows. Well, like about the same. Um, okay. Oh, by completing a seasonal challenge. Right. We already got these cards. They gave them to us before they told us we were awarded. Part of me thinks that's a glitch. But basically, as soon as you accomplish the goal, you get the card. Uh, okay. So here's our rankings. We are ahead. 
tons of money and then our fans a little bit ahead but that's all right it's not like a huge deal okay triple h is waiting to see how our first show fair is completed and have our most popular available male and uh, male uh, face and heel fight each other this week hoping that somehow la knight is my most popular face he is not because that's john cena oh but i had said we're gonna do that i had said we were gonna do that yeah um okay oh cena's happiness has gone up a little bit gonna do a world title match finn and cena manage roster i want to see how is la knight doing he's not happy um can I get a card for him? No. There's not much I can do right now to help other than put him in a high profile match and let him win. Like force him to win. In which case, because Cena's happy and LA Knight. No, but I want it. Wait, wait, what's the what's the reward? Ah, I don't need pre-match physio. Um so just to let you know. Uh oh hi, Subversivo and Renbird. It's good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. Um, pre-match physio, basically, it, it helps to reduce the probability of injury. I rarely put wrestlers in matches when they're below the threshold. And some, like, that can get me in trouble because then, like, I can't necessarily do all the matches I want to all the time. But I really try and vary it up so nobody is below the 40 threshold. So, not too worried about that. What size roster would you advise? You're getting the game tomorrow, so looking for tips. It depends on if you play uh, easy difficulty for the game or normal or hard. Um, and that's different from because there's AI difficulty and then there's gameplay difficulty. So the gameplay difficulty, if you're on easy, you only have three matches um, per show. And then obviously on normal mode, we have four. So that really determines how many you want. I started this one with 12, and if you want to be in a really good spot, I'd say closer to 14 to 16 to start with. However, you also want to focus on your money, make sure you have a ton, and when you get in, you will still have a lot of options to pick from to, um, uh, to hire. So if you're getting to that 13 14 15 16 and you're not seeing a bunch of wrestlers that you really want right you're just kind of like filling it up for no reason it might be worth just going in with a lesser number like 12 and then picking up the rest later um for easy mode i would still get like 10 you have to get at least nine 10 is an easy around number so you know you have pairs across the board so yeah 10 for easy mode 12, 14 for normal mode. You basically want to be able to run, um, I would say in normal mode, normal slash hard mode, you want to be able to run six or seven different pairs or different types of matches um, so that you can have a couple of people off the show to rest and still fill it all out. Um, uh, uh, and then... Yeah, yeah, being able to rest them in and out. That's the main thing. You want to make sure to be able to do all of those slots and then be able to cycle people through. So, yeah, I would say if it's your first time playing, you know, 14 to 16 on um, normal. 14, probably. You don't want too many wrestlers. Um, so, yeah, 12 to 14. I go to 12. I hire a lot of enhancement talent. Um, hit people guy asking... Is there any way to buy enhancement talent? Yes. So A, you can hire them permanently. Um, you can just do that. Some of them have permanent contracts. And then the ones who are like week to week, there is a card called... Uh, Superstar Training. So Superstar Training, um, you send them away for two weeks and they come back and they've got boosted stats and they're now a permanent member of your roster. Um, that card's incredible. Like you literally, you turn one of those uh, jobbers into a full tier, like top tier wrestler often. Like I sent, I was playing a match yesterday. I finished a whole round yesterday or a whole 25 days. And um, 
I sent a jobber off to superstar training. She came back and within two shows, she was a five star wrestler with 95 popularity. So she didn't come back that, but I was able to get her there right away because having that star power was incredible. So yeah, hit people guy, get, get medical bill up to the top. Oh man. Okay. Um, speaking of which, let's look at our free agents this week. Um, no medical bill, sadly. Uh, but yeah, you can see like we have a permanent over here for Sammy George. Um, Precious Silver is not permanent anymore, but that's fine. Chuck Wagon or Neon Bright Star, both gettable. Ooh, Christina Fury, she was in the previous game. I love these jobbers because there were a bunch of these in the previous game. And so seeing them again is hilarious. And a lot of them are in the campaign as well, which is great. Like Kyle Slickman, you fight him in a cage, in a steel cage. <laughs> Getting a local talent to title holder is something I want to do. It's doable. It's certainly accomplishable. You got to focus on it, but you can get it done easily. Uh, okay. And then Legends, who we got? We're looking for Tyler. All right, no Breezy. Oh, hit man. I love him. Uh, okay. So who do we want to put up against Cena? Um, you know, maybe we do Cena versus Legends kind of situation. It'll cost me some money, but we got a lot of money. Cena's a face. Oh, boy. Scott Hall is one of my faves of all time. We're going Scott Hall, y'all. We're signing Scott Hall. Confirmed. Oh, but now he's not my... Uh, wait. That's actually perfect. Right? Hold on. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see what's up. Cancel. Um, so, we're going to throw Scott Hall versus Cena as our starter match. They've got good stamina, so we're going with an extreme rules match. I think that could be a good opener. Keebler's in the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They brought her in in the last one. Is Cena my highest popularity face slash heal? He is, but I'm not going to do that for the mission, mostly because I don't really care for this pre-match physio, and I really want LA Knight to build up in this feud. So another thing I'm going to do, we're going to fix the match, all right? I'm using a power, car, uh, power card, fix match. We're throwing it on LA Knight. He's going to win. He's going to win that match, guaranteed. Doing that, because when a title changes hands, there's a greater likelihood that you're going to get that rivalry. Just like the more in, the, the better the match comes off, the more likely they are to start a rivalry. They've got a fair amount of stamina. You know what? We'll give them the extreme rules. We're going to give them a TLC match. Okay, so mid card. Let's figure out our men's tag situation, right? because I don't think we sorted that last time. So we're gonna do Carmelo and Dom against Mase, actually. Against Tyler. mase has got the North American and Dominic is the guy he's going against. So I should probably get two other people. Like I said, you should probably have different champs for each thing. Um, or different wrestlers for each thing. So, I need a duo. And we're putting them in with, who are the other two? Carmelo, I wanna look at their popularity. Carmelo and Tyler, our lowest popularity. So, a thought has occurred to me. Ba -doom, boom, boom, boom. What do we think? <laughs> I mean, it would boost them, right? A tag team TLC match for the titles. Cena or Scott Hall taking it away. The only issue will be if Scott Hall takes it and I can't afford to keep him around, but I'm not going to go too wild with my money, so I think we'll be okay. Okay, now. Who else we got? Let's sort by stamina. Uh, all right. 
we can do this. We'll get away with one more match before they need to um, uh, uh, rest. I worry about this being a better match, but this being a TLC, I think we'll take it over the edge. Okay, and then finally, who do we not have going with anything? Oh, they do have a rivalry. That's too bad. Okay, so then. Like, I don't want to necessarily throw this match in there. So I kind of want a mid, a mid card. So let's look for two women's wrestlers that we could bring in. Rhonda Spendy. If she was permanent, I'd get her. Oh boy. It's tough to build up low level ones unless you like put them in tag matches with higher level ones or, or like against them. Either way, we're in a tough spot. What about men's? Is there anyone permanent that's high level? I mean, Lashley. Lashley's not a bad call. But we could also build lower quality wrestlers, right? So we could go with Ezekiel. We could go with Julius Creed. Veer Mahan. Who have I got? I've got Carmelo I could put up against Veer at some point. And we could put Veer up against one of these cruisers. It'll take a little while to build. Let's get Veer. Actually, what's his happiness? His happiness is okay. We'll grab Veer. And let's grab a cruiser to put him up against. Veer was a heel. So I need a face cruiser. We can grab stacked McSlacks. <gasps> stacked McSlacks. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, Brian, I didn't even notice that you mentioned stacked McSlacks. He's so good. Does Gargano have the Rebel Heart? No, he has the whatever the newer one is, I believe. I th I, th I fought him, I think, in the campaign, and I remember it not being the Rebel Heart, which is too bad. I love that one. The bootleg kids bot version? Bleh. Okay, so there's our popularities. And we're going to throw Veer up against Stacked. They've got a good chunk of stamina. Hell in a cell. Okay. Now, let's do some call outs. Let's build some things. You need to call out Aaliyah. Y'all need to start that feud. And you know what? We're going to double do it. If you double down, that can help a lot to really build those feuds up. Lastly, Nikita has not really been able to do too much. Well, no, I guess that no, because there this is the this is the duo. So we'll just do self promo. She's got a three. Carmel's got a four. But she needs to build her popularity more. Let's let's go with Nikita. And oh, I can now buy the next level for this. So I spent five thousand to open it, and now it costs five thousand every time. Um if I want to use that. Uh, can't do any of the others, but you'll see it says optional bonus. So at the bottom there, um, it said book one level one higher or higher uh, rivalries, right? So as long as you meet that criteria, you get the bonus below, which is great. So uh, book superstars with greater than or equal to two star power will gain one popularity. From us, that's going to be Balor, who's now a five star guy. Look at that. Uh, Balor... Uh, I don't think Bianca's wrestling. Is she? She might be. No, they're doing callouts. Cena. Uh, Aaliyah's a four star. Awesome. Mase, Dominic, LA Knight, Raquel, Nikita. Everyone. Except for Stacked Mixlax. Poor Stacked. Someone should call out Stacked Mixlax for wearing the wrong slacks. How could you, Stacked? How could you? Okay, um, we already went through our power cards. Does anyone have low enough stamina that I feel like giving them um, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, this card, Hell Spa. We'll use the low level one on Bianca. Oh, never mind, because she's busy. So yeah, never mind. Uh, cancel. 
Okay. I haven't promised anyone anything, have I? No. <laughs> I always have to double check that. Okay. Our show looks good. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah! All right. Let's see what's up with our tag champs. Okay. I'm already realizing I should have swapped in Veer and Stack McSlax into those tag teams. That was silly of me. But that was a four-star match. Love it. Did not start a rivalry. That happens, sadly. Um, okay. Yeah. Build this up. Build this up. No rivalry. Come on. The rivalries are tough. The harder the difficulty you pick, by the way, the harder the rivalries to start. Uh, but look at that. We got Aaliyah and Bianca up to level two just by having them call each other out. Okay. One, two, it's, over. it's over. Not bad. Way better than I expected for their first match. And they got a rivalry going. Again, not a zero is good. Or not below a zero is good. The Slack Hood dream is dead. No. Look at that. And now LA Knight is champion. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good rivalry. Okay. Okay. Damien's just doing okay against Jinder. Ooh, Umberto. They're not liking Umberto. Oh, this has got to be huge. Why did you put it in the middle of your show? Yeah, why did you put that in the middle of your show? Actually, I expected that to be bigger. Yeah, Bailey always doing great. Oh, they're going for those charity. That's how they're catching up on the fans. They're going for charity runs. They're going to be ahead of me this time. Probably. Yeah, they just got 10,000 extra fans. That's kind of the way that you can catch up with money. Okay, I mean, maybe, they're, maybe their show wasn't too bad. I feel like they had like a little bump with that Roman Reigns match. All right, Randy and Corbin. I feel like this actually happened. I feel like this actually happened. Okay. For the U.S. Championship. Corbin, the U.S. Champ. Seth freaking Rollins, WWE Champion. All right. Should have been better than the Corbin match, gonna be honest. Otis and Shinsuke. I love it. Otis. Okay, okay. Jimmy, they picked up Jimmy. Okay. Ludwig and Ivar. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Why didn't you put your title match up there? All right. We got the women's champ. Alexa taking on Dewdrop. This will be a good one. Yeah. Wow, they got a classic. Oof. WCW is coming for me. Ludwig versus Ivar as the closer should have been Edge Seth. Yeah, absolutely. What do we got over there? Which which belt is that? Whoa, WCW coming out the gate. MVP KO though. Oh, it's the, he is the world champ, but they're not putting it on the line. Wow! WCW just put on a banger! Oh, we did pretty good too, though. I thought, okay. Four, three and a half, three, four. They did 4.5, 2.5, 3.5, 3.5. I'll take it. It's funny that the WCW secondary title is the hardcore title. Is that what it is? <laughs> oh, I assumed it would be like the European title or something. Or the cruiserweight. Um, okay. Feeling good. What worked here? Tag chemistry is all right. Oh, they didn't do a special match type. That's right. Okay. Solid. 
Finn's not upset about losing, I think because it was the main event. Uh, and then rivalries, nothing here, which sucks. Level two on the Bianca Aaliyah one, though. We're going to do some call outs this next one to try and build some of these ones that we have. Raw sucked this week, right? What else is new? Just kidding. It's actually been kind of good lately. Uh, okay, we lost a little money, but I, I spent some money. Matches and things. Uh, okay, 52,000. Not bad. SmackDown's at 45. I'm worried about WCW. Raw, yeah, Raw didn't do great. All right, we're about the same. We're about the same. I thought they kicked our butt. All right. Okay. I mean, WCW is in a really good position, though, with, like, money. They're coming up on fans. Yeah. WCW is the, the competition. Okay, two weeks to Survivor Series. All right, Mysterio is low. We'll do promos with Mysterio and... Um, uh, what do you call him? The spa. I'm going to give him the spa. Rest the tag champs of the women's division. Okay. Just buying all the new stuff when I can. You want to run the biggest arena that you can, like, every time, because you get the most money. Unless you know you're going to have a terrible show. But, like... You know, am I saying Mick Foley doesn't know how to book a show? I mean, I watched some some wrestling when he was the GM and it wasn't that great. I love him as a guy. He was great as a wrestler. I, I watched him back in the uh, when he had all three personalities going on. The dude love mankind, Cactus Jack, Trinity. I watched watched live on pay-per-view when he got thrown through that. Uh, that cage. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> GMing, which obviously, as a GM, they're not actually the GM. I'm kidding. I know that it was actually Vince, and those are just a face that they put forward. We got medical bill coming in, y'all. Yeah, we might, we might bring in some of these heavy hitters. Okay, power cards. Yeah, I always want to buy uh, those types of them. And it's going to... Uh, my money is, as you can see, slowly going down. I'm now at 750k. I started with, what, a million? Plus the 0.25 that I spent on Cena. Um, okay. So this one. One randomly booked steel cage match on your show will receive a higher rating than normal. I try and get at least two, if not five cards very similar to this so that I can guarantee my entire pay-per-view is going to be maxed out. Um, Foley should get like a cheap pop bonus. Yeah, that actually would be good. That would actually be really good. Gain extra fans when you book a hardcore match or something. Although that would be too easy. That would be a lot of extra fans. Um, Tyler Bay and Scott Hall work well together as a tag team. Did they win the belts? Oops. They did. Okay, tag. So, who would I put them up against other than the uh, Cena Hayes combo? Let's just do it again. Run it back. Really try and get that rivalry going. Um. Okay, main event. Let's get uh, let's get these two out there now. Stamina wise, Bianca's okay, but she's gonna be low after this, so I just wanna have it be normal. We're gonna have a, a lean, a lean show. Oh yeah, let's show in let's throw in stacked McSlax, you're right. There we go. There we go. So then we'll throw in a Carmelo Veer match. We're gonna hope the, oh no, Veer is low on stamina. We'll see if I can have Carmelo call him out. We're going to swap that uh, rivalry around. Um, we're also going to do a LA Knight calls out Balor. Yeah. And then let's have Mase call out Mysterio. 
Who else we got? Wrestling. Let's check our staminas. All right. Tag champs have a lot. They've got a lot. Let's go for the women's tag. Even though we know that Nikita and um, Raquel don't have the best chemistry, um, we know that uh, they've, they've already got the rivalry, so we're just going to go with it. All right. Regular matches across the board. Oh, we don't have enough people to run another match unless I run them, but they're all low stamina. That's what happens when you run two tag matches. See, and this is where I'm at that point of needing enough wrestlers to fill out the card. Was the women's tag a requirement? No, I just, I, I need to build some stuff and I haven't had them wrestle for a while. As you can see, their stamina is pretty high on EO and Carmella. And I'm trying my best not to have um, dual rivalries, right? So I don't want to also have a Raquel EO Nikita Carmella rivalry right now, necessarily. Um, so, let's just look at our free agents first. Who could we bring in? Oh my god. Who could we bring in to start doing something in the middle here? They wanted the. Yeah, yeah, they wanted. Well, yeah, I guess let's look at the card. I mean, Vito Champ is a good one. But that's the thing, if I rest them, then I have even fewer matches I can book, right? Veto Champ. Yeah, it helps me hurt the other teams, but... Mm. I'll put it this way. There are a handful of cards that I will never turn down. One of them is called Special Promotion. Essentially, as long as you put on a good show, the special promotion card is going to give you like 300,000 fans at one show. It's a lot. Um, and then uh, like To The Moon or uh, Beginner's Luck or not Beginner's Luck. I forget what it's called. Uh, uh, a Wrestler's GM, something like that, where like you can boost their morale, stuff like that. But otherwise, it, it's I'll do it if it's easy. Um yeah, I can't put them in a match. What about them? No, he's low. They're low. They're low. They're all low. Okay, free agents. Let's bring in... I love me some Kofi. Is there a men's heel giant? There's Cash Suplex. All right, we'll grab Kofi. You can never go wrong with Kofi Kingston. And we will grab Cash Suplex. I don't see any other... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, you know what? Yeah, Brian, you're right. You're right. We're bringing in Medical Bill. <laughs> oh, man. Hire Medical Bill and team with Stack McSlacks, and then there's stacks of Medical Bills. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, that might happen in the future. Um, all right, we're throwing Medical Bill up against Kofi. And we're going to make that a TLC match. Actually, no, let's, let's not go too hard on it. We'll go Extreme Rules. And beyond that, everyone else is doing regular matches. This shouldn't be a hugely successful one. Medical Bill has 16 popularity. Um... Okay, show is laid out. Cards have been purchased. 30k to extend for how long? Four weeks? That is worth it for Scott Hall, I think. I think that's cheaper than it would be for me to hire him again, is why I did that. Uh, okay. Sorry, what that power card did was extended his contract by four weeks. Because um, remember, legends you can't get permanently. Um, okay. Yeah, we're cool with it. We're cool with it. Extreme rules, there's a doctor in the ring already. <laughs> good one, Turtle. Good one. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we saw that coming. Oof. Stacked McSlacks bringing it down. Even Cena couldn't save you. <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. That'll build him up a lot. 
It's going to be a, a bad show for us, though. Yeah. I did not expect that opener to be that low. I thought Cena and Scott Hall would bring that up. Yeah, that I expected. That I expected. KCK, wrestling isn't for you, but apparently my commentary of it is. I'm telling you, GM mode is so not wrestling. It's just like a fun management simulator. Okay, this will be good, though. This will be our one good one. Come on. Come on, you two. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Rough opener. We're going to have a poor opening. All right, I'm going to just simulate through these. So you can hit triangle and simulate through the entirety of the uh, um, other shows. Um, we're doing this just so we can move a little bit faster. So I can, I want to try and make sure we at least get through the pay-per-view today. Um, okay. And then we can look at the breakdowns here. Um, okay. So poor opening. We did not do so well. We're going to not do so great on fans this week. Luckily... Seems like they all... SmackDown and WCW did okay, actually. All right. So let's look at what they did. Okay. No titles on the line, though. It's interesting. Okay. I'm just looking at the matches, just seeing... Getting a feel for what they're running. Okay. And then let's see about this. Tag chemistry is fine, I think, unless it's like, no, theirs is so bad. Um... Yeah, this is going to be a rough feud. I might want to just... I might want to just go for Cena versus Scott Hall for a little bit. Do some individuals and not worry about the tag championships. The tag champions do give a bonus to those wrestlers. So Tyler Bate and Scott Hall are currently getting like a plus 10 from having the titles. Um, okay. Again, tag chemistry not great because Raquel and Nikita not great. Wish that rivalry would have gone up. No rivalry here. And that one was was all right. Okay. 45K. I mean, not the worst week. Yeah, I was going to say SmackDown and WCW, I think are going to do significantly better than us. 51. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they pulled ahead. All right, all right. By less than 100. Okay, it's all right. Kind of knew that was coming. Rivalry level three? Yeah, let's go. Um, Mick Foley plans on taking this to the next level. Okay, cool. You're really rude. All right, so this is Bianca's hometown. She wants to be on TV. Let's flip and go. She's going to be in a rough spot next week, though, if I put her in a match. I think I have one um, pre-match physio. Normally, I wouldn't do it, but, you know. Oh, Dominic wants to tag with Kofi. Interesting. Interesting. Like, we could try that. Like, Cruiser Cruiser versus Fighter Specialist is not the best combo, but... If they have good chemistry and Scott Hall and Tyler Bate have good chemistry, that might cancel it out. Medical bill and stacked are ruining the show. Yeah, it's long-term. Long-term booking, y'all. Long-term booking. They'll be fine. Okay. I have to. It's the night before the pay-per-view. Maybe we don't put we don't put the title on the line. Because the title's on the line. That extreme rules, which I think I think it's extreme rules, which is next. Okay, so Scott Hall's got a rest, anyways. Let's go uh, stamina wise. Oh, I didn't realize we got new tag champs. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Okay. Oh man, our rivalries are not great going into the. Um, pay-per-view. All right, we're going to do one of these. Dom may also fall below stamina-wise. You got to do what you got to do. Um, can we run another women's? 
I know they're not the best, but the more you build it, the more you run it, the better it does, period. As long as you can get those rivalries going. Oh! They did get a rivalry. What kind of stamina are you looking at? <sighs> What's another one I could build here? Because I know what I'm doing on my promos is the thing. Who do I have Carmelo going up against? Oh, I was trying to do it against Veer, but it ended up being um, stacked. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to do a triple threat match. And we are going to throw Carmelo and Veer and stacked into this match. This will at least let me use Carmelo to keep him from being angry. Um, and it can build. I'm trying to make it build. You can see like looking at it. I'm by putting Carmelo first. I'm trying to tell it, look, put Carmelo versus Veer. That said, it sees the rivalry at the top and it'll probably boost that one. But hopefully it can break. You can sometimes break them. He'll turn stacked because he blames Cena for the tag loss. <sighs> oh. That's funny, Turtle. Maybe that'll happen at the uh, pay-per-view. Stacked's gonna just like break. Um, okay, so we're building rivalries here. So I need you, Balor, to do that. I need... Oh, okay. Other way around. There we go. And then... <laughs> John Cena calling out Stacked McSlax. <laughs> I wish. I wish. But because he's already in a thing, I don't think it'll work. If, it, if he comes out of it, though, for sure. Um, all right. Who else we got? Who could build? Um... We'll do that. Try and build that a little bit. Okay. Oh, special promotion! And we'll grab... Mm. The arena is actually cheaper than that. Well, no, we will get another arena. That's right. Um, and I'll take the pre-match physio. Because... For two reasons. Uh, I think for two reasons. Um, A, because we know Bianca's going to need it. And I think... Oh, is it different this time around? Oh, the goals change. When I played previously, there is a goal that was buy all of the cards available in one week. And then you would, you would gain um, trophy progress and a card for it. Okay, so. Oh, and I do still have the quick recovery card. But the longer I hold on to that, the better. Honestly, we'll probably use it after the pay-per-view, because I'm going to run people into the ground on the pay-per-view. <laughs> uh, what's Bianca want? Yeah, she's in the show. Okay. Okay. And I don't want to push people too far this show. But basically what we're hoping to here, right, is Balor and uh, Knight get to level three is what we're hoping for. Because um, if you make it to the pay-per-view with level three or four rivalries, you get the bonus and then the rivalry gets completed. Um, and completing rivals, rivalries is really important for like getting that big boost at the end of it. And you can have rivalries go on for too long and people get um, bored with them. So you, you do want to make sure you're on top of it. Okay, that's set up. Do we have Tyler Breeze? No Tyler Breeze. Oh, and then uh, anyone in here that we really want. I think we're good for now. Montez Ford would be a good pickup. 
I'm not gonna put it on Bianca right now. I don't think she's in injury territory, is she? Oh, she is. You're right. I thought she had. I thought she was just above it. But I got two. Okay. Um. All right. We're gonna run that show. Cause then we're gonna at least make it to the pay-per-view. That was the main thing that I wanted to do. Let's see how it goes, y'all. Marseille. Hey, we got the level three. They got the level three. Awesome. Oh, I don't think they're gonna grow enough. We'll see. Okay. Build the rivalry. Hey, there we go. Okay. Okay. Nah, not enough. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. That's okay. All right. This is not going to be a good match. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I wanted a rivalry out of it at least. This will be a good one. Should have been better. Uh, all right. We're simulating through again. You can see they're all running kind of like Skeleton Crews as well. I mean, not bad for a pre, uh, for a go-home show. And that opener, that opener, it's a curve, y'all. Nice, dude. They're going to put on a heck of a show. Oh, and they got just enough stamina. Wonderful. All right, 46K plus 83K. We had the best week. We had the best week, even though we had the lowest match because of the curve. Dude, watch how many fans I get after this pay-per-view. Cool, we pulled back into the lead. And like I said, my, my favorite part about this game is not so much the winning, right? The getting all the fans. That's just kind of like a little edge on it. But for me, it's the two things. A, it's building up these awesome... Um, rivalries and things and building up the wrestlers and then um the the hall of fame thing i'm really intrigued by the hall of fame thing Ooh, perfect okay yeah so here's what i was there's the more expensive uh arena road crew i can also boost Ooh, these things get expensive okay so then I'll go ahead and use my... Oh, it's times two! I thought it was... So you can get cards where it's a free. So for me, it'll cost less. This hurts someone else. It makes it cost more. That's new. Okay. Um, that changes things. I have two special promotion cards? Awesome. All right. We will confirm. All right. Let's lay out our show. Who's the most popular? Y'all two. Awesome. Who's the most? Is it y'all? I think it's y'all. I'm looking at the combined popularities. See, so yeah, I think it's them. Middle of the show, we'll do these guys. And then we will do them. And I'm going to do something to ensure that this is a huge match. And then who else have we got? Is there any other rivalry that's really built? Not really. You know what? We'll do this for now. This can be an all right match. Um, okay, let me look at what cards I have now. So I have make a steel cage match better and make a tornado tag match better. Oh, and I can do fighting champions. You know what? Because this is going to probably be my last for today. Um, we're going to go out with a bang. So we are actually going to do every title on the line who we want them to feud with 
you two still, right? And if they don't win it here, the feud breakdown begins. Or if they don't start a feud, and if they don't win it here, Cena and Stack Mixlax, they're going at it. That's our WrestleMania. Um, okay. So, the other thing I'm going to do. We're going to worry less about this match. We're going to worry more about this one. We're going to do a steel cage. Oops. Oops. No, come on. Steel cage match. Um, it has increased likelihood of furthering the rivalry. Um, it also will get boosted by this card. If that's not a five-star match, I'll be shocked. Um, then we're going to do the tornado. So this guarantees um, an increased match quality. So we're going to do a tornado. So tornado tag is when all the wrestlers are in the ring at the same time. So instead of it being like a literal tag match, there's no tagging. Instead, you have two teams, and then whichever one can pin the other one or submit the other one first, then they win. So it's basically like a no disqualifications tag match. Um, okay. We're cool with that. That's going to get boosted. We're going to run our fighting champion. Every single one of these matches will get a boost from that card. So that should help a lot. Did we have a thing? Have at least one TLC? We can do that. Y'all can be a TLC. How's that sound? Okay. Now, Bianca, Aaliyah, y'all are going to put on an Extreme Rules match. Oh, hey! Look what arrived! You want to show? You want to show people? Happy anniversary! Yeah. You happy? Yeah. <laughs> Been waiting on those to show up. Took them a while. Bought them yesterday. <laughs> How long does it take? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you like them. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? They're doing an Extreme Rules. We got TLC, Tornado Tag, Extreme Rules, Steel Cage, Mase and Mysterio. Y'all are going to finish this up in what do we want to do we'll do a submission match yeah so the submission match you get a bonus for the rivalry so because it's a level three rivalry we should get three thousand extra fans from it um okay so promos uh let's just get a start on the next weeks or the next months rivalries. Um, now we can leave that. Any y'all good? No. Um, yeah, we will start this stuff. I would love to get him into a thing with with fear, you know? No, no role change. No, bap, bap, bap. So I'm gonna try this, and if it doesn't work, then I have to do a whole burnout thing with that feud, and it'll take a bit. So I'll wanna hire another giant, essentially. But I know from time to time you can break rivalries, um, cause you do it on accident all the time, um, at least in the previous game. Okay, we bought our cards. Any legends worth grabbing? I mean... Uh, like, Brett and Sean are two of my favorites of all time. Brett is so good. And he can go up against anyone. I think... I'm spending so much money on this show. I can't, I can't justify it. Anybody else? Who are you calling out? 
Kofi. All right, we'll see if any of that works. Literally everyone I have is on the show. Um, got all that set up. We've used our power cards. Let me double check those. Special promotion, Tornado Alley, Fighting Champion, Real Steel. Okay. This should be a fantastic show. Can Medical Bill call out Medical Bill? Sadly, no. And then next week, because of this mission, if I want Dom to be happy, I have to put him and Kofi in a tag match together. What I love about these tag match ones is usually it's for like the week after the pay-per-view is when the deadline is, but you do have to worry about people's stamina after the fact. But I've got my stamina card. We'll be fine. Okay, let's run the show. Let's see how it goes. Get ready, y'all. Legendary! All right, that's what we want to see. That's what you want to see. Boosted rivalry. Okay, okay. It's a classic! Still nothing. Oh, wait, that one did increase. They did. They're in a rivalry. Masse. Legendary. I really need that, uh, the Extreme Rules match to be a legendary. <laughs> cool. Yes, they have a rivalry. Awesome. This one should be great because Tornado. They got the championships, y'all. Cena and Stack McSlacks. They finally did it. They came together. <laughs> Brian, the Stack Hood dream has come true. He did it. <laughs> this champion is stacked, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. My goodness. That's great. Cool. And Bill and Kofi's is off. That's good. Y'all, I was not expecting that from Aaliyah. So that's awesome. Titles changing hands. Awesome. Rivalry cleared. Awesome. Incredible, y'all. Incredible. All right, we're going to watch through all of these. I see, but they're going to get fans from the charities. From the charities. Now look. I spent a lot of resources on that show, right? I spent my champion card. I spent two cards to boost matches. You know, I did a lot. However, I do think that investment will be worth it to kind of be a little in the tank for the next couple of matches and then come up or the next couple of weeks um, because of the jump it should give us. Yeah, we, we put on the greatest pay-per-view of the year, one of the best of all time. They're just putting on your regular PLE. This is like a WrestleMania backlash over here. Okay. Okay. Love me some Damian Priest. Where's your title? Oh, it was in the middle of the show. Okay. It's a rough curve. Although, I'll be honest, all right? Other than lately, that, see, what did I say? What did I say? Asuka and Baszler is money. Money. By the way, I've seen those two wrestle multiple times, because when I was actually going to live NXT shows, Asuka was champ. Um, okay. We got Cody and Jimmy. What do we got? Okay. Dexter had a promo. I mean, he didn't go well. He didn't do well. Can you go bankrupt? The game just won't let you do things until you can afford something. You can run an entirely free match or a free card. You just can't um, book anybody in promos other than for uh, advertising, and you can't do any special matches. Special matches, excuse me. And you can't buy any good like arenas or anything. Do, 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 do. Interesting that they didn't do any promos. Yeah, they they should have done advertising. Maybe they didn't have enough people. 
But I've noticed sometimes they just don't. Sometimes the... I think if they get below a money threshold, they don't. But they're also not good at, like, building their money back up. I think. I'm not sure. But it happens a lot. Not a great one. Hey, sis, how's it going? Dakota and Dana Brooke. See, here I think they ran out of wrestlers. I think they need to expand their roster. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. That'll be good for their next show. Dang, man. Waiting for your pasta to cook. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. In the middle of the show. Can you call out earlier in the match and then have them fight later on the card? No, you can't. If someone is booked anywhere, they can't be booked anywhere else. Sadly. That would be awesome. I've always wanted to be able to do that in this. Been struggling with eating issues, so trying to incorporate cooking for myself to eat as I don't have an appetite. Hey, I'm, I'm the same way. I'm the same way, so I've been cooking a lot more lately. It's funny because I haven't had my, um, look at that. Look at that. Amazing booking. One match was not five stars. One. Look at that. And, and I used the special promotion card. So y'all, let's see how many fans he got. 212,000. 212,000. Not bad. Not bad. I spent a lot of money. Spent a lot of money. They got 113, so I got about 100 more than they did. 102. 102. So, that should put me 100k ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So now, I've got a... Um, a nice buffer, right? So I don't have to worry as much about the next three, four, five weeks, really. Um, and then that'll be the next pay-per-view. And then I'll get another gap because I have another special promotion card. Yes! Okay. Anyway, let's quickly look at, see how our wrestlers are doing. And then I'll probably call it here. Like I said, it's going to be a shorter stream today. I'm hungry. I need to go eat some stuff. You know, I want to spend some time with Chrissy. So, so yeah. Um, contract in NXT is up at the end of the week. Oh, buddy. Stacked. New tag team champion? Are you kidding me? You want $8,000? Take it. Take it. Easy. Uh, oh, Veer's contract is coming up. He just got into a thing with Carmelo. Uh, 35? Okay. So you can see, someone like Stacked, who is like a, a local talent, is uh, far more affordable. I have to say, you really crushed it. Thanks. Thanks, Xavier. You asking about that, sis? That is a painted um, and adorned mirror that uh, Chrissy's mom uh, made for her. It's pretty cool, right? Chrissy's mom's an artist and um, does these like, uh, I forget what you call them. It's like poured acrylic stuff. It's really cool. It's really cool. Um, and yeah, sis, uh, food for me, also tough. I have to like force myself to eat. Listen to my stars and spend my cash wisely, which means I had a lot of cash at the beginning. <laughs> can we just can we just take a moment again, wrestling fans? Can we take a moment to appreciate Eric Bischoff saying, "Yeah, maybe we should be a little frugal with our money," you know? Um, <laughs> BFFs, <laughs> exactly, Brian. Uh, oh, she wants she wants a main event. Okay. Okay. So here's the deal. This is when you start getting a lot of those requests where people really want a bunch of stuff. You know, like Dominic wants that tag match with Kofi. Um, this one has to happen this show. So I don't think the women's tag rivalry was 
solved, was resolved. So I might be able to do that as my main event. So I'll say, okay. You don't want to make a promise if you can't keep it, right? If you can't make the promise and you say, I can't do it, small decrease to morale. If you make the promise and don't follow through, big decrease to morale. Okay. Dom wants to win his next match. Okay. All right, here's the shakeups. Here's the shakeups. Let's see. Um, there's way more cards than this. They just randomly give you three. As you can see, there's uh, bronze, silver, and gold. You don't always get one of each. I've had it be all silvers before. Um, so let's pick one. So too good to be forgotten. Oh, and then the thing at the bottom is really important. Seasonal, seasonal, and 10 shows remaining. So seasonal means it's going to last all the way through WrestleMania. Um, obviously, the 10 shows remaining, that's only going to go through the next two pay-per-views. Um, okay, superstars don't lose popularity when injured. Nice. Whenever you complete a commissioner goal, you have a chance of earning a random extra power card. That's good. That's good. All right, so this week, multiple things, right? I need Dominic to partner with Kofi and win um, because of this. And I need to put Carmella in the main event. Okay. Cancel. Okay. So, like I said, though, we're probably going to call it there. I'm getting a little hungry. And, um, and yeah, let's see. Appreciate you, buddy. I'm here for you. Always love your streams. Yeah. Thanks, Sis. Um, you have a chance, but what's the probability? Good question. Good question. My thing is... The other one that was like, if you book it interference, you'll get a card. So that would be guaranteed. If you did it every week, you'd be guaranteed an extra card. But you are going to ruin several wrestlers' morale. Like, if you wanted to do that, you would hire a jobber and then have someone face them constantly and be in that person's corner. Um, which, now that I think about it, actually not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. Because if you spent, you know, 5K on a five-week contract and run that person into the ground and then do another 5K on another five-week contract and run that person to the ground, you would get 10 extra cards. Um, but we shall see. We shall see what the likelihood is. Um, and then I'm going to want to always try and accomplish these goals, right? Because, obviously, get those extra cards if possible. What would the one be this week? Injury rehab. Not bad. Uh, okay. Okay. So, I'm going to stop recording. Goodbye, YouTube.